This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more information. This is puzzle number 87. It's a diabolical puzzle, which is the hardest level in this book. It's from Sudoku to Go, volume 87 by Soap Opera Digest. Um, in this video, we're going to go over um, using combinations of techniques to help solve a very difficult puzzle. Uh, to help solve, a, uh, get to a point where, where we can get unstuck, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> because at this point, it's going to be very difficult to, to get any farther than we are on this, on this puzzle. Um, we're going to use twins and triplets in more complex ways. So we're at, the, at a point here that where the low-hanging fruit has already been picked, or in other words, all the easier numbers have been filled in, and uh, we'll have to use those advanced techniques to, um, to, to finish the puzzle. There are several twins and, and triplets that we've already identified here. So um, let's look at those. We have seven eights, one fours, four sevens, one five nines, two sevens, three sixes. Here we have four seven eights, four fives, and seven eights. And you could you could review that. You could look at each one of those and you could see that it's pretty obvious that those are um, those are pretty easy to find. But at this point we can't solve any of them and we're kind of stuck. We don't know where to go from here. So before I show you the solution, um, if you would like to, you could stop the video right now and see if you can find anything else. Um, <clears throat> and I'll give you a hint, a couple of hints. There's something in this column right here in this row that will help us find solve these four sevens right here. So if you'd like to stop the video and uh, take a look at it and see if you can figure it out. Uh, if not, we'll, we'll plow ahead with the resolution. Um, there are four seven eights here and we have seven eights up here but we have a four right here so we know this is a seven eight so we know these are seven eight twins. I could have mentioned that earlier. Um, I didn't because it's not obvious. Okay. But now that we know there are seven, eight twins here, we've only got three numbers here, here, and here that haven't been um, identified yet. And they're one, one and four because there are one, four twins here, and nine. There's a nine here and a nine here, so we know one of these is a nine. We can't solve those. There's a 1, 4, 1, 4, 9, 1, 9 right here. But let's look at this 1, 9 here in, conjun in conjunction with this, these triplets right here. Okay. We've got a 1, 5, 9 right here. There's a 1 here, so that's a 5, 9. There's a 5 here, so that's a 1, 9. And this is 1, 5, or 9. So this 1, 9 and this 1, 9 are twins. Now let's look at the rest of this row right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, six, seven, and eight um, that we haven't uh, solved yet. We know these are one, nine twins. So we know these four cells have three, six, seven, and eight in them. Okay. Here we have a three, six for two reasons. We have three six twins and we know that because there are seven and eights here too. Okay, so that's three six. Right here we have a seven eight because we have three sixes there, three and six there. Here we have a three seven and eight because we have a six but nothing else. And here we have a three and an eight so this has got to be a six or a seven. So we can't solve the three, six, seven, and eights yet. Can't solve any of the numbers. But 
we know these are 7 and 8 right here, 7 8 twins, and we found out that this is 7 and 8. We got 3 6 here, so this is a 7 or an 8, so we've got 7 8 twins here. Because we have 7 8 twins here, we know a 7 can't fit anywhere else in this column other than in one of these two places right here. And so therefore we know these four seven twins here have to be four here and seven here. So that helped us solve those twins and uh, that should help us get quite a ways farther in this puzzle. Let's continue on. We've got seven eight twins here. We've got a seven there so we know this is a seven and this is an eight. We also know that this is an 8 of these 7 8 twins here. Because these are 7 8 twins. And we also know that now there's a 4 5 here, so we got a 4 there, so this is a 5 and this is a 4. Okay. Um, now we know that this is an 8 here because we had 7 8 twins there. Which helps us solve these twins. We can also now put fill in an 8 right here. We've got 8, 8, 8, 8. So that's an 8. And we've got a 4, 4, 4. So this is a 4. And we've got 4, 4, 4. So we know that's a 4. Now we've got an 8 here. Well, let's see. Now we've got 4 7s here, so we can't, oh, we got a 4 there, that's right. So we can solve these 4 7s right there. And let's see what else we can solve now. We've got a 1 4 here. We've got a 4 there. So we know this is a 4. And this is a 1. Okay. Now we have 1 9 1s here. So one of those is a 1. And 9s here. So one of these is a 9. So we know this is a 7. We can also see the two 7s there. Okay. okay, so we've got 7 here. Let's see, two. Okay, let's look at some of our other twins here. We've got two 7s here, and there's a 7. So that's a 2, 7. That solves this 7 right here, too. We got 7, 7, 7, 7, so that's a 7. Okay. Uh, <coughs> let's see. We've got 3, 6 here. Can't solve those yet. And 1, 9. What do we have left in this row right here? We've got 1, 9s and 3, 6s, right? And there's a 6, so that's a 3. That's a six, and that's a three. Okay. Still have one nines here. Uh, one nine, one nine. There's a five nine, one five nine. What do we have right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, six. There's a 6, so that's a 5, and that's a 6. And what do we have here? 1, 2, 2, 9. There's a 2 there, so we know that's a 2, 9. We had 1, 9s here, so that's, and that's a 9 there, so that's 1, 9. And we can finish with 1, 5, 9s here. We have a 1 and a 5 there, so that's a 9. 1 and a 9 there, so that's a 5. And a 5 and a 9 there, so that's a 1. So we found <coughs> the breakthrough that we needed by, um, first of all, finding these 7, 8 twins. And that helped us find these 1, 9 twins, which was the second level of twins that we found. Even though we couldn't fill these in, we could find the these, these twins. These twins helped us find these 7, 8 twins here. So we had to go three levels of, of 
finding twins, combinations of twins, before we could solve this 4 and 7. And once we solved this 4 and 7, we pretty much were able to solve the rest of the puzzle. When we do these more difficult puzzles, you have to get creative and find combinations of techniques in order to solve them. Thanks for watching, and uh, watch for my next video coming out soon.